Welcome to the Experts in Medicine talk series. This series is brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare, leading publisher of clinical pocket references by the world-leading medical experts. Today, we are joined by urologist Klaus G. Rohrborn, an expert in the field of prostatic diseases and author of Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia. My name is Klaus Rohrborn, and I'm professor and chairman of the Department of Urology at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas. I have spent here the last uh, 15 years or so on faculty, and I've spent a good bit of my clinical time uh, dealing with patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia and lower urinary tract symptoms. Most of my clinical research is also in this area. The book, Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of Benign Prosthetic Hyperplasia, gives an overview of the etiology, pathophysiology, and epidemiology, as well as the natural history, evaluation, and most importantly, the management of lower urinary tract symptoms, LUTS, and benign prosthetic hyperplasia, or BPH. As any other field in medicine, this field is rapidly moving forward. Some of the interesting and new developments in the fields are the introductions of new medications and classes of medications to the therapeutic armamentarium and the increasing use of combination medical therapy. For example, very recently the COMBAT trial was published examining the role of combination medical therapy using an alpha blocker, in this case tamsulosin, as well as a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, in this case Avodat in the treatment of men with moderate to severe symptoms and an enlarged prostate gland, showcasing the superiority of combination medical therapy. Also recently, a study was published demonstrating the safety and efficacy of a PDE5 inhibitor, in this case Cialis or Tadalafil, in the treatment of men with LUTs and BPH. A new drug was recently approved also in the treatment of these patients, namely Silodosin, a new alpha blocker made by Watson Pharmaceuticals. As one can quickly see, the field of medical management of LUTs and BPH is not stagnant at all, but in fact is rapidly evolving. In the area of the evaluation and uh, natural history of LUTs and BPH, much new has been uh, reported as well in the recent past. Several efforts were made to use cluster analyses to better understand how men present with different symptoms or different symptom constellation and ultimately how we can apply the findings from these analyses to targeting our treatment to appropriate patient groups. The future will bring more new data on treatments, evaluation, pathophysiology, as well as the uh, uh, etiology of BPH. The handbook, Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of BPH, will remain a valuable resource to healthcare providers making sense of such information. Hopefully, future updates will include much of the uh, information that is currently uh, being published and will be presented at upcoming national and international meetings. Thanks for tuning in to the Experts in Medicine talk series, brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare. If you are interested in purchasing copies of this or any other titles by Handbooks in Healthcare, please call 800-860-9544 or email custserve at hhcbooks.com. All Handbooks in Healthcare titles retail for under $25 a copy and can be purchased in bulk quantities at substantial discounts. Handbooks in Healthcare can be found on the web at www.hhcbooks.com.